none of it means anything. I kind of thought it was a low budget film to begin with. It was just like another job except you look weird. I got dressed in the costume, they put bits on it. I thought, cool, this looks good. There wasn't a lot of certainty as to what it would be. I had an invite to go for lunch with Alec Guinness. And we used to go and sort of practice the fight together, like kids fighting in the back garden. And I was like, holy shit, look at this, what's going on? How many actors can say that they've got their own action figure? I said, how, George, how do you want me to play this? He said, well, play it like they do in the movies. Took the afternoon off, up to Pinewood Studios, and knock on the door. So then within a week, I got a call to be in Star Wars. It was just a nightmare. I mean, it just turned into a sh Not everything's gonna stay in the film. And I was quite angry and hurt. I suffered from like terrible depression, you know. The only thing that really got me out of this house was really going to do this convention. He said, I'll pay you 300 pounds. Oh, doing what? He said, sign an autograph. I said, are you for real? There's quite a lot of politicking. It's all to do with money. They get just kind of jealous that you're taking a piece of their action. My face was in the movie, you know. Jeremy's got a bucket of his head. What's that about? Well, that's purely because it's Boba Fett. I can't say any more than that. It's not my fault. Fans all over the world are generally just brilliant. Come on, some of them are right off the wall. The little bit, Mr. Bullock, that you, you made a slight look. I said, yes, I was waiting for lunch. And you become friends. But I would just treat everybody the same. I really didn't have that driving ambition to succeed. Maybe that's where I've been going wrong. Star Wars is my main source of income. It's better than sitting on your ass and waiting for all the heat to overtake you. You don't want to be classified just as an ex X Wing pilot. It's a piece of us, or it's a piece of, you know, what our what somebody's life is. And I was in with the helmet on and walking around and then finally stopping with George Lucas. He said, welcome aboard. It's not a big role, but I think you'll have some fun. You kind of just go, you know, move on, you know. As the Sand Trooper says, move along. <laughs>